the midnight drive through Once upon a chilling October night, in a small town nestled in the heart of nowhere, stood an old, weather-beaten McDonald's. This fast food haven had long been abandoned, left to decay like the memories of happier times. Its faded golden arches creaked eerily in the wind, and its windows were shattered remnants of a forgotten era. Local legend had it that the McDonald's was cursed, a place where the spirits of unholy meals lingered. The town's residents avoided it like the plague, except for one group of adventurous teenagers, Sarah, Mike, and Alex. They had heard the tales but believed them to be mere folklore. One moonless night, the trio gathered, their hearts pounding with equal parts excitement and fear. They planned to spend Halloween night investigating the derelict fast food joint. Armed with flashlights and courage, they approached the sinister building. The entrance door swung open with a mournful groan, revealing a dimly lit interior. The scent of stale fries and rotting meat hung heavy in the air. Graffiti covered the walls, casting eerie shadows that seemed to dance with a malevolent intent. The friends explored room after room, each more unsettling than the last. In the kitchen, they found grease-smeared countertops and rusted cooking equipment, relics of a time when this place served joy alongside grazy meals. In the play place, faded murals of smiling children had turned into haunting specters. Their courage wavered as they ventured deeper into the abandoned McDonald's. The tales of strange happenings started to weigh on their minds. Creaking floors and whispers in the darkness sent shivers down their spines. Still, they pressed on. As the clock struck midnight, they found themselves in the heart of the building, the once bustling dining area. Broken chairs and tables were scattered around, and the ghostly remnants of forgotten Happy Meal toys lay strewn across the floor. Sarah, the bravest of the group, decided to investigate the drive through window. She climbed into the booth and peered outside into the inky blackness. Suddenly, a voice whispered her name from the shadows. She turned, but no one was there. Her heart pounded, and she yelled for her friends. Mike and Alex rushed to her side, their flashlights revealing nothing but empty space. Unease nodded at them as they began to question the wisdom of their adventure. Just as they decided to leave, the drive through intercom crackled to life. Welcome to McDonald's. How may I take your order? A ghostly voice intoned. The trio froze in terror, their breaths visible in the cold air. They hadn't imagined it. The intercom repeated the eerie greeting, each word dripping with malevolence. In a panic, they scrambled for the exit, but the door slammed shut with a deafening crash, trapping them inside. Desperation took hold as they pounded on the door, but it refused to budge. The drive through intercom continued its sinister message, growing louder and more distorted with each repetition. Lights flickered and shadows danced around them. It was as though the very essence of the cursed McDonald's was closing in on them. Just when it seemed all hope was lost, a deafening roar pierced the air. The drive through window burst open and an otherworldly force pulled them through. They tumbled into the night, gasping for breath, their hearts pounding with terror. The McDonald's was gone, vanished into thin air as though it had never existed. The friends staggered back to town, their minds haunted by the horrors they had witnessed. From that day on, they never spoke of the cursed McDonald's again. The legend lived on, a chilling reminder that some mysteries are best left untouched, and that even the most mundane places can hide unspeakable terrors in the dead of night. Don't forget to like and subscribe.